you're asking, if you raise S, how does that change the margin utility of consumption? Well, that would be usually what we think. That is, I get more margin utility. The, the extra gain I get from consuming this commodity is higher the higher the pass consumption is. But then why do you consume more? It has to be the marginal. The, less, the lower the level of utility, I think that's the way to think about it. But in order to get you to consume more, they have to raise the bang for your buck relative at least to other goods. Right? That is, why do they lead me to consume more? Right? This, is, this is like, I think what's confusing you is the same thing that always happens with technological progress. Right? That is, if you, have more, if you have technical progress in a given activity, activity, does that raise or lower the demand for inputs? Well, you don't know, right? Because it's a marginal versus average kind of story. Right? As we become more productive at making a given commodity, do we need more labor or less labor? Well, for a given, you get more output, but the output's worth less. Okay. So what's happening in this case is the way I usually we think about an addictive good is what makes a good addictive? Well, if I've consumed it in the past, then I consume more today. That's the empirical observation of what we're going to call addictive. I smoked cigarettes in the past, and if I smoked in the past, I'm more likely to smoke today. The more I smoked in the past, the more I'm going to smoke today. That's what we mean by addictive, I think. If I've consumed cocaine, I'm more likely to consume cocaine again. Right? That's, I think, what we mean by addictive, right? Or no? Yeah, but that just means U.S. is, that means holding C fixed. Higher S means less, let's call it utility. Let's just say, let's just assume B is what you call the benefit of, right? And you're telling me I got B of C and S, right? Where this is current consumption, that's past consumption. And what you told me is holding C constant, the more I consumed in the past, the less B I get, right? That has nothing to do, that's a different issue than B sub CS. B sub CS is a different question. You're, that story that I got less benefit is that S has a negative effect on my total benefit, right? As opposed to S has a negative effect on the marginal benefit. All right, and, and that, that's the key of an of addictive subject. A, a harmful addiction has that kind of feel to it, right? I consume in the past. The more I've consumed in the past, the worse off I am, but the only way to not be so worse off is to consume even more. So, that, so you're thinking about B sub S negative, but B sub C S is positive, so that the benefit I get from consuming more goes up. So I actually consume more in equilibrium, right? That's kind of the distinction between the two. You really want to distinguish the level effect from the cross effect. And this is true for lots of problems. People confuse this all the time.